Hi, OK. Hi, yeah. Hi, yeah. What reactions have you got to show me then? I thought we'd start with Group 1. Um, what I've done is I've got the Group 1 elements out to have a look at. As you see them down the periodic table, so lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium and cesium. And what I thought we'd do is just have a look at how easy they are to cut and then see what happens when they're exposed to the air, when we okay. clean off the, okay. the oil there. Lithium is actually quite hard to cut. And then if I just move that bit away, you can see the surface is quite shiny mm. and it'll just gradually start to react and yeah, tarnish. You can, you can see it tarnishing already. Yeah. Sodium's much easier to cut. And it's almost like cutting um, cheddar cheese. It's that sort of consistency. And if I just cut a slice off there, and you'll see that that tarnishes much more quickly. Mm. You can see the surface is going. Mm. And the potassium, potassium's really easy and tarnishes almost immediately. If you just sort of move the oil off the surface, you can see that it, it tarnishes the blue, bluey purple tarnish yeah. on the surface. Now, you can't cut rubidium and cesium, can no. you? <laughs> Um, no, rubidium and cesium are stored under argon in these sealed glass containers. Um, and they, they just, you can see what the actual alkali metals look like when they've got no tarnish on them, very shiny silvery mm -hmm. metals. And cesium's quite interesting because it's got a low enough melting point that you can actually melt it from the heat of your, heat of your hand.